Good morning, everyone, and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm sharing my morning routine with you today as part of Mega Motivation, started by my friend Dawn from The Minimal Mom. I will leave a playlist down below where you can check out many other inspiring morning routines. When I wake up, I try to make as little noise as possible so that I don't wake my two-year-old because if he wakes up, it's all over and I usually can't get my work done. I do intermittent fasting, the 16-8 method. And since I started doing that, I changed my routine a little. I take about 1 8 of a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt in my water to replace any electrolytes I may have lost during the night. I have replaced this with the lemon water I used to drink in the morning. I still like lemon water and highly recommend it, but I'm temporarily adapting to this method while I embrace my new routine. I read the Bible first thing in the morning and am finally trying to read it through in one year plan at the back of the book. I mark off all of the days as I go. I like starting the day with this rather than looking at my phone. After I'm done with my reading, I get out my computer and start my writing for the day. If you're new to my channel, I'm an author and I've had five books published. People ask me how I get it done while raising a family, and this is how. I write every morning before they wake up. So I will typically write from 5.15 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. If it's a day when I'm publishing a video, I'll end writing earlier and usually publish my YouTube video at around 6 a.m. If Ben hasn't made coffee yet, and he usually hasn't, although sometimes he does, I will make a large pot of coffee. This is one of the pleasures of the morning for me. If you've read At Home with Madame Chic, you know about the pleasures of the day that we can look forward to and that anchor us in gratitude. I love smelling freshly ground coffee in the morning. There is nothing like it. Now that I no longer wish to lose weight through intermittent fasting, I add around a teaspoon of heavy cream to my coffee. But when I had certain weight loss goals, I drank my first coffee black. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out my intermittent fasting one year update video. It's been so great for my health. At this point, I now check my planner for the day's schedule, check my email for business correspondences, respond to comments, read the news, and text my friends while enjoying my coffee. I will do this until around 7 a.m. when my two youngest ones typically wake up. By the way, I'm not going to show my kids in this video, and I thank you in advance for respecting my decision there, but trust me, they're really cute. For those of you wondering about exercise, I typically do that in the late afternoon. Because I work from home, I have the need to squeeze my work in while the little ones are sleeping. My exercise usually involves them or can be fit around them, so I save that for later when they are awake. I make breakfast for my boys, the girls wake up later and make their own breakfast, and then I go upstairs to get ready for the day. This is a really important part of my morning routine. But first, laundry. Now that the little ones are awake, I'm not worried about making noise, so I typically start the first load of laundry at this time. I didn't film it, but when I first wake up, I do wash my face with water. I do not use a cleanser in the morning. I only save that for the nighttime. So here I'm applying sunscreen for the day, which of course is a must. This one's by Paula's Choice, and I'll link it down below. Then I will apply my makeup. On a day when I'm not filming, this is a very simple five minute routine, but I'm filming this on a work day for YouTube and I plan to shoot two videos later. So I'm doing a more complicated makeup routine so that I'm camera ready. By the way, you know I'm an advocate for presentable sleepwear, so I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Montel Intimates Bus Support Chemise, which now comes in a midi length. This length is so perfect now. If I'm not wearing my robe over it, I will typically put this ballet sweater on top if I'm around the family. All right, now it's time to curl my hair. I only do this twice a week so as to prevent heat damage, and today is one of the days when I'm doing it. 
time to select what to wear. I do the 10 item capsule wardrobe, which you can read about in Lessons from Madame Chic. It helps me to look presentable always and dress well every day. Today, I'm going to wear this pretty yellow dress from Sky. I put on my jewelry for the day and spray myself with perfume. This is Pinrose Secret Genius, which is a sophisticated vanilla fragrance. I'm not filming this on a school day. If I were, I would do preschool with my son from eight to nine and the girls and I would work from nine to noon. As it stands, I'm filming for YouTube today. So I fix the bed and get to work. I have breakfast at around 9.30 a.m. and today I was feeling so nostalgic. I was really craving cream of wheat. If I make eggs, I would also make them for Ben, but he's not a big breakfast person and doesn't mind either way, so today I'm making my own breakfast. I'm having cream of wheat with a splash of milk, some blackberries, and a sprinkling of sugar. I take this with more coffee and a tall glass of water. I know my morning doesn't seem very hectic to you in this video, it might seem quite serene, but once everyone is awake, it does get a bit crazy. I make sure to always take some time to get fresh air and walk in the garden. The points I want you to take away from this morning routine video are the following. To gather time for yourself before your family gets up. Do what makes the most sense for you. You don't have to exercise in the morning if that works better for you later in the day, for example. Another key is to focus on the pleasures of the morning. What are they for you? For me, it's writing in peace and coffee. And finally, to emphasize looking presentable always, because it really does give you magic superpowers throughout your day. In addition to work on this day, I also ventured out and ran a lot of errands and I felt wonderful in my yellow dress. Don't forget to check out the Mega Motivation playlist down below. I invite you to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.